Good morning everyone, here's our latest video update on Typhoon Nagui. As you watch the system just rapidly intensify uh, from a typhoon a uh, little less than from a tropical storm 24 hours ago to a massive and bona fide category 4 typhoon if we base it on the Joint Typhoon Warning Center um, wind. The was last located approximately 1,100 kilometers southeast of the island of Okinawa seen on this latest infrared image or about 1,400 kilometers east-northeast of Manila in the Philippines. Um, you can also see here the local name Florita. The system has entered the Philippine area of responsibility, earning that uh, local name. It is inside the PAR, but again, as you've been saying before, this is not expected to directly impact the Philippines. However, it will enhance the southwest monsoon and is beginning to do so, actually. We will see that monsoon... Uh, and the rains associated with it um, expand and uh, continue to impact parts of uh, Luzon and even Visayas over the next two to three days here. So uh, no strong winds, no, damage, not, no damaging winds, but um, scattered rain showers will, likely, will be likely across much of the country there. Looking at the latest analysis from JMA, you can see maximum sustained winds now up to 155 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 220. Now the numbers in parentheses are from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, slight way higher actually, um, with their estimates here. Uh, you can also note that this is the one minute uh, sustained winds from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. So uh, according to them, the system now has 220 km per hour sustained winds, which should make it a Category 4 uh, typhoon. Now, the, move, the system is moving west-northwesterly at a speed of 25 kilometers per hour, which should begin turning more to the northwest over the next 24 hours. And looking at the latest infrared animation, you can see the system really, really strong right now, very expansive convective activity. You can see the eye is still pretty rugged. As we said this yesterday, that we were expecting the eye to clear out by today. However, there was an eye wall replacement cycle that occurred. Uh, overnight and that uh, stalled the intensification it has leveled off uh, somewhat in intensity uh, we are still seeing that very cold cloud top surrounding the center there are also there is also some hint of dry air uh, being entrained or being ingested into the circulation which is kind of making it uh, hampering somewhat the development of naguri however uh, the sea surface temperatures, wind shear, all of those, all of those factors are still pretty much in favor for continued intensification. That dry air and that eye wall is uh, pretty much the uh, only factors are the only factors that we will continue to monitor, as that could play a role on the maximum intensity that this typhoon will attain. Uh, so far, right now, we still think maybe about. To that 24 to maybe 48 hours of favorable conditions before it starts to weaken. Maybe on uh, Tuesday it should uh, start uh, weakening just before it reaches the island of uh, Okinawa. And just again looking at one of the computer models, that the many of the computer models that we use, one of them is the GFS and uh, this is an image courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com, the latest computer model run from uh, the GFS showing you this is on uh, Monday evening uh, Japan time and uh, as you can see the system is now approaching the island of Okinawa around that time and as you move forward to this forecast or this output from the model you can see GFS taking Noguri, south, Noguri west of the island of Okinawa. What that means is um, the, the island of Okinawa and nearby islands here in the Ryukyu uh, region will experience uh, the strongest winds, as we all know, the strongest winds of a cyclone is usually on the right uh, front quadrant um, uh, relative to the motion of the storm. So uh, we are definitely expecting some Typhoon force conditions uh, impacting the region beginning uh, Monday evening, uh, lasting into Wednesday morning. And as you can see, as you move forward through this uh, out uh, through this loop, uh, the GFS has maintained that forecast, moving northwest, uh, north, uh, northward, and then turning northeastward into Kyushu, and then weakening rapidly, but will continue to bring stormy conditions across mainland Japan 
Genkyushu, Shikoku, and parts of western Honshu as you move into the late next week. Aside from the damaging Typhoon Force winds, we are also expecting some pretty widespread heavy rainfall uh, being brought by Nogui, and you can see on this latest uh, one of the uh, rainfall forecast from another model. This is the Hurricane Weather Research Forecast model. And again, you can see the path of Nuguri uh, taking a northward track across the Ryukyu Islands and then into mainland Japan. And as you can see, some pretty dark shades of color corresponding uh, to inches of rainfall to your right. And uh, Okinawa, parts of uh, Kyushu, and Amami, those will get uh, looking at the scale here, 8 to 16, maybe even 24 inches of rainfall, and that is around 200, maybe even 400 millimeters of rainfall in a short amount of time. And not only the Japanese islands, not only the Ryukyu islands, but also mainland Japan, we're talking about Shikoku and parts of Honshu also getting in on the action again as we move into, say, Thursday and Friday. We expect those heavy rainfall to shift towards your area expecting as well maybe even 200 up to 400 millimeters especially on the mountainous regions so uh, not only Okinawa but also parts of Japan should continue to monitor the progress uh, it may weaken uh, as it approaches mainland Japan but the threat of heavy rainfall will still be there and speaking of the forecasts uh, the main significant shift is that the consensus has now moved the forecast path of Nogui to the west of Okinawa. Again, as I've mentioned before, that means the island and the nearby islands here will experience some of the strongest winds that this storm will bring. So it's we're pretty much confident as of right now that Okinawa and uh, nearby islands out here in this region will experience typhoon force winds, damaging winds, um, again beginning Monday evening into Wednesday morning. JMA pretty much, uh, there you go, move that, um, there you go, uh, JMA pretty much echoing uh, what the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is saying here, again tracking Nogui west of the islands and then making another, making a landfall perhaps in the island of Kyushu by uh, late Wednesday evening or perhaps early Thursday morning. And um, there are some differences with regards to the maximum intensity. Again, Joint Typhoon Warning Center forecasting pretty strong Category 5 Super Typhoon strength. JMA not using that scale, as we all know, but um, still forecasting uh, an intense, uh, strong uh, typhoon impacting uh, the country. And so if you are living in Okinawa and other islands out there, and even in mainland Japan, even if you reside in one of the you know islands, Kyushu, Shikoku, Honshu, you got to be closely monitoring the progress of Naguri. And for Okinawa, for residents in Okinawa, you got to start preparing right now. We probably, I would say maybe about 36 hours, 48 hours stops before we start seeing the really strong impacts by this storm so if you can start stocking up on food water uh, get loose objects outside bring them in and once the storm hits once those winds increase please please stay inside do not try and go venture out and take pictures and videos as much as we uh, like and appreciate those who share their you know their their eyewitness uh, reports to us we'd rather have you stay inside really um, again, we're expecting this, the stormy conditions, especially the worst conditions, to last uh, around Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, outer rain bands can start maybe Monday afternoon, um, you know, with the heavy rains beginning to impact the region. And, uh, and also the, those high waves uh, will start uh, to, to play a role not only across uh, Japan, but also uh, the entire region, Taiwan and even the Philippines, um, uh, should look out for those high waves generated by this system. And that concludes pretty much our video update on this morning. Again, uh, just continue to please monitor the progress of this storm. And as always, listen and follow the official warnings and forecasts of your uh, 
weather agency we have the japan meteorological agency there and as always follow us on our youtube channel and our facebook page and also our websites out here for the latest updates we will continue to um give timely updates over the next few days as we watch this system uh, barrel down towards the japanese islands stay safe and see you on our next update